Hey everyone, what's going on? It's your boy Krebsy Crypto, and I am back here mining, making some videos again. I have been obviously away for some time. I kind of just stepped away and just kind of got a little too lost in my time away with uh, my time off on YouTube here. So I decided to bring back some more content and mining videos, but I want to come back and provide more mining videos, tutorials, content like that. Like I said, I've always been like wanting to continue and stuff like that. It's just I got kind of sidetracked with real life things and stuff like that. But as we see here, we've kind of rearranged my mining room and my mining setup here. So I got it all cleaned up, all freshened up. And right now I currently just have the one rig running here, my AMD rig. Now the reason why the other ones are off and why I haven't really been making videos is because is I've kind of been having them off and on. So just due to the heat here in uh, Ontario, like in Canada here, it gets, it's pretty warm. It's in the high like 40s. It's in the high 40s, which is pushing like over 100 Fahrenheit. So having all this running within my small apartment, even though I have AC, it really pushes out the hot air and it just does not work with the AC. So my mining rigs have been off, so therefore I haven't been making content. That's another reason why. But anyways, we'll get started with today's video and it's gonna be how to mine Vertcoin and just kind of looking into Vertcoin itself. I currently have it set up and running on my AMD rigs there. But with uh, Vertcoin, the reason why I would wanna bring attention to it is just due to the fact it's a really good solution to Bitcoin mining. If you do have lower end uh, mining rigs and things like that and cards like myself even, I have a few rigs here where they're lower tier cards. Vertcoin is a good solution. It doesn't use much power. And again, you can use lower end cards. So you can use as low as two gigabyte cards with this. Obviously not every two gigabyte card and three gigabyte card and even like six gigabyte card is gonna work because it just depends on like the algorithm, depending on that card. Like over here, I have my six gigabyte NVIDIA P106 100 cards. They're just strictly mining cards, but for some reason I can't get Vertcoin to work on them. It's just something just incompatible with the algorithm and cards, but my AMD ones are totally fine. And down here I have a little like small makeshift rig with like a 3050 and two 1660s and it doesn't seem to work on there either. Again, I don't know if it's incompatibility or something I'm doing on Hive OS, but we'll be going over both setups for NVIDIA and AMD in case you guys want to test out the NVIDIA setup. And then you can let me know also in the comments, you know, if maybe I'm doing something wrong. But before we jump over there, I just want to say that I'm glad I'm making videos again and I'm happy I decided to jump back into it. Again, obviously it's been like six months. People probably thought I stepped away and quit. But no, I've been continuously mining. I've been accumulating more. I even have some ASIC miners. I have a facility that I'm working with out west and Canada here that I'm gonna be sending like all my ASICs to in order to have them run and I won't have to like worry about electricity and other costs. Things will all be worked in. So I'll have all my ASICs running. I'll have all my GPUs running here. Once the ASICs are gone, I can put more rigs out in the living room. But yeah, so on that note, we'll jump over to my computer now. I just wanted to do a full quick update here for the intro. So now we're over on my computer and I have the Vertcoin website pulled up here just so you can have a quick glance at it and kind of what it's about. It pretty much compares itself to Bitcoin so you can check out the Bitcoin comparison if you want. But the first thing we need to set up before getting like set up on Hive OS is getting a wallet set up. Now I use Coinami on my uh, iPhone, so I'll link the app in the description, and that way you can download that app if you choose to use that. Or you can download the Core Wallet here onto your computer, or you can use an exchange like CoinEx or something, and you can uh, mine directly to it without KYC or anything like that. And then for mining software, they also, this is just an option, if you are just using Windows operating system, you can go ahead and download their one-click miner here. And all it literally is, is a software that opens up. You paste in your Vertcoin uh, wallet address, and then you click start mining. And again, this is just for Windows. And there's not too much description about it. There's just no pre-mine, no ICO, no airdrop. And if you look at the DAG size, so this is the requirement that you need in order to mine Vertcoin. It is only 1.2 gigabyte, so I recommend at least 2 gigabyte and higher for graphics cards. And like I said, not all of them are going to be compatible. Like I have some 6 gigabyte graphics cards that aren't compatible. But if I were to run like a Windows operating system or something, it might uh, run properly through their all-in-one miner. It just doesn't work through Hive OS right now. Maybe it's something I'm setting up. 
But once I'm on Hive OS and showing you guys the setup, uh, if there's something I'm doing wrong, maybe you can correct it for the Windows one, but I currently have it working on AMD only. But again, like I mentioned, it's just a 1.2 gigabyte DAG size compared to Bitcoins and all that, where it constantly increases for the DAG size and difficulty and things like that. This one is fixed, so no matter what, how much people are on the network, the DAG size always stays at 1.2 gigabytes. So that's good for the whole mining network. It keeps it fair, it keeps it equal for everyone and gives an opportunity for everyone to get into mining. It's kind of an entry point if you were to ask me. So yeah, once you have your Vertcoin wallet set up, you want to get your Vertcoin wallet address and then you want to click into your mining uh, farm here on HiveOS and then you want to go to wallets and then you want to click add wallet here and then for the coin ticker you can type in BTC and it should come up and all you do is paste the wallet address right there and then you can give your wallet a name and then you click create. I already have one set up but once you're done that all you do is you want to go into your uh, farm here so I'll just show it you click into your farm and then you click whatever rig that you want to set it up on and like I said it's pretty low power consumption it's only 347 watts mind you I don't have too many AMD cards but still it's pretty fair for the amount I do have and the temperatures stay relatively low I have one card that I do need to fix up so the temperature is a bit higher but yeah the temperatures as you see on a decent card stay relatively low power consumption is relatively low but all you want to do is click into the flight sheets here once you're in the flight sheets here you want to click on to manage your flight sheets or wallets go to flight sheets so click that and then you can set one up right here so all you do for the coin ticker is VTC and then you're going to select the wallet that you set up with the name and then for pool I use let's see here Wooly Pooly I think that's how you say it Wooly Pooly or something like that but yeah this is the one I use for Vertcoin it seems to be pretty popular so that way you kind of get like paid out pretty frequently the payouts only one vert coin which is not hard to get for most of uh devices for mining so this is going to be the pool all the setup is going to be done in hive os so you don't have to worry about getting like the stratum the pool url and all that so all you do is come back here and then you select pool you scroll down and it is right here on the list of course you can use a different pool but for this tutorial we're using wooly pooly i think that's how you say it so you select that and then here you're going to select your location so for me, let me see, they have a Canada one, so I'm going to go PPLNS. You can do solo if you do choose, depending on your equipment. If you do have a, like a good set of cards, so like a wide range, so I only have like, you know, five going on this algorithm. If you have like 10 cards or something like that, you have a better chance, obviously, at solo. But for most people, you want to do PPLNS and then... You want to do USA, Europe, wherever you're closest to. I'm in Canada, so I'm going to choose a Canadian one. You click apply, and then for miner, I've had best luck with Team Red Miner with overclock and everything with AMD. Again, you can use like Burt Hash Miner SRB, but for AMD directly, I use Team Red Miner. I've tried Burt Hash Miner with NVIDIA, and my cards just aren't compatible. I'll go over that. But so you click Team Red Miner here. And once you have it selected, you can give your flight sheet uh, name here and then set up minor config and you can see it's already all set up for you. So you don't have to worry about inputting anything. So you just input a name and then click create flight sheet and it'll pop up right down here. This is my current one, like I said, for uh, no, uh, AMD, sorry. You can just copy the settings and everything. And then this is the one I have set up for, uh, let me see, for NVIDIA here. So I have it set up the same. I use vert hash miner. It's just my cards aren't compatible. So if you want to set it up with NVIDIA and try it yourself, you just set up with vert hash miner or SRB multi miner. Uh, Team red miner is strictly for AMD. And then you just set up the flight sheet for NVIDIA and then you have one both for AMD and NVIDIA. And then that's pretty much it for the setup on Hive OS here. So obviously once you have it all saved and set up, you go back to your workers and then whichever rig and then you click flight sheet. And then you go down to that flight sheet and click the launch button and then it will launch it and it should start working properly. I just got mine booted back up here because of the warm temperatures. But as you see, it generally stays low. The power consumption is low. And then uh, for my cards, I get about two mega hash, which isn't bad. I make about like 64 to 70 cents a day, which for mining right now isn't horrible. I'm just kind of accumulating some for a coin because it's kind of been 
moving fairly well. I find it's going to be possibly a good alternative if you are comparing it to like Bitcoin, because obviously Bitcoin and all those will always be dominant, but there's going to be secondary options for people like myself, like household miners and stuff like that. And this is a good entry point for them. But if you want to see your stats here, you're going to copy your wallet address from your flight sheet. And then you're going to go over to the Wooly Pooly here. And then you're going to make sure you're on the Vert coin uh, pool. And all you do is paste your wallet address up here and click the search button. And it should pull it up. As you see, I have mine up and going. It shows you your hash rate, your balance, your weighting. You can see your current workers. So you see mine right here. The blocks that you like helped find and everything. The ones you're waiting for. And your total payments and everything. All of your stats are up here. You can change your minimum uh, payouts and everything like that. And obviously it just depends on what wallet you're using. So you can use Coinex. Uh, it's a non KYC exchange and it, you can like do all kinds of things. And I've had no issue with it. And I've been in Canada and I've been using it for like a few years now, but you can go ahead and use like an off exchange wallet. So like Coinami or the core wallet itself. And I imagine there's some other wallets out and about for Vertcoin. It's just, it's been out for a long while, but it hasn't just been fully adapted yet, but it's been getting more and more known over the years. So yeah, overall, hopefully this tutorial helped you guys and you're able to mine Vertcoin now. If you have any questions or anything, post it in the comments below, and myself or the community will be able to help you out. Like I said, not all GPUs will work. Some aren't compatible. It will tell you directly on the miner itself. So make sure you do have like a monitor or display for it if you do run into errors, so that way you can see what the issue is and work from that. But again, I'm not going in depth with like the Windows setup. This was just strictly for Hive OS. But that's all I got for you guys today. If you did enjoy, make sure that like and subscribe button as it lets me know you're enjoying my content. And there will be more to come. I'm back on my YouTube grind now, so make sure to stay updated. I hope you all have an amazing day, and this is Krebsy Crypto signing out.